What's up, boys and girls? It's me, Nate, from Everyday Gaming Society at Motor City Comic Con 2016, and I am here with John of Airborne Comics. How are you, sir? Fine, how are you? How are you? Good. So what brings you to Motor City Comic Con this year? Selling comics. So when did you first start, or when did you first fall in love with comics, as it was? Uh, right around 1963. 1963. You must have an amazing collection. I do. <laughs> Can I come over and see it? Anytime. Awesome. So, um, how, how's the booth been running for you at Motor City this year? Uh, not too bad. Friday was, uh, so far, my best day. Despite the uh, huge crowd yesterday had more lookers and walkers by than we had uh, sales. And uh, today, still have a couple of hours to see how we end up doing. And I notice a lot of your books are in CGC cases. Um, is that a preference of yours in your, your uh, business? Well, what I'm trying to do is expand the uh, product line to graded comics. And I'm doing, uh, I'm, ge I'm, getting, I'm getting them graded by two different companies, CGC and CBCS. And going ahead and just seeing how the uh, buyers respond to the products. Now, do you see that more people prefer to buy it in CGC cases when they see that lovely logo on top of it? Well, the problem that, uh, that, that the industry has right now, CBCS is only about three years old. However, the founder of CBCS was one of the founders of CGC. So he left that company. He had to wait uh, based upon a non-compete clause. And once that non-compete clause in his contract expired, he founded CBCS. Uh, what's been happening for the last couple of years, that company has been uh, gaining traction as far as uh, acceptance with, uh, with the general fan base. And I've not noticed uh, any significant resistance against the product. And one thing that's helping them out, uh, I follow Heritage Auctions. They've got a weekly comic auction. And there's an increasing number of uh, Golden and Silver Age comics that are being presented that are graded by CBCS. So that's increasing its acceptance. Now is it a better, like what's the difference between CGC and CGCS? Well, the, um, they have the comic books graded by age group, for example. Uh, CGC only had uh, modern, the modern comics from 1980 to present. And CBCS started it with 75 to present. Now, what's key about that is it's cheaper to grade a modern con comic than it is the other categories. So that was the first big difference. Second big difference, when you get your books graded, if you get them graded by CGC, you have to pay for the grader's notes. And what that means is, is the grader who looks at the book, he makes notes as to why he graded it the way he did. However, with CBCS, they started out by getting the grader's notes free when your books were returned. Third biggest difference was the way they handle uh, signed comic books. For example, if you were at this Motor City Comic Show and you had Neil Adams sign a comic book that was not witnessed by CGC, if you send it into CGC, they would still grade it, but instead of getting the yellow label that you normally would get with an autograph book, they'd get uh, a purple one called, and it'd be called Qualified. And even though technically they don't ding you for the grade, you don't get the regular label. However, what CBCS does, if you send it in and let them know the approximate month and year you signed it, they'll, they'll verify the signature. And if they verify it, then you get their standard signature label, unlike CGC. So those are the three biggest differences. That's amazing. You're like a wealth of knowledge on comic books. And uh, behind your name, Airborne Comics, I, I hear that you're a retired Air Force Colonel? Lieutenant. Uh, lieutenant. Army, Army Lieutenant Colonel. Army Lieutenant Colonel. Um, now, did you get made fun of around the barracks for loving comic books back in the day? No. Uh, rarely came up because when I went in the Army in 72, I really didn't have time to do much with comic books. And I didn't really get back into them again until probably 1989, um, 90. And then when I retired, just before I retired from the Army, I opened up a comic book store in downtown Mount Clemens and had that for a couple years. Um, now, are you mostly doing online sales nowadays? It is all uh, either 
selling online through my eBay store or at shows like Motor City Comic Con. Now, if you want, go ahead and plug your uh, your online store. That way we can put the links down below. And our fans, if they want to purchase through you, can go ahead and do so. Uh, I've got an eBay user ID of J-O-H-N-1-D-E-B, John 1-Deb. And my email address is J-E-W-A-L-U-S at AOL.com. Thank you so much for your time, sir, and thank you also for your service to our country. And go ahead and check out John and his amazing comic book store online. He has an amazing collection of Silver Age comics. Go ahead and hit him up. CGC rating or CGGS rating? CBCS. CBCS rating. Uh, but go, that's it, boys and girls. Thank you for your time, and we'll catch you on the next video. See ya.